Myanmar remains we on stop focus in fine print. Let's begin with the latest as 54 casualties. Days of unrest and protests continue to rock Myanmar. Tear gas, flashbangs and stun grenades. Security forces have now intensified their crackdown as the innocent civilians still suffer. Let's have a look at the most powerful visuals coming from Myanmar. Now, according to local media reports, the authorities in Myanmar have disturbed the grave of a 19-year-old woman who became an icon of the anti-coup protest movement in Myanmar. And after thousands of people attended the memorial service for Khal Sin, authorities arrived at the cemetery and removed the body of the slain protester. The military examined and returned the body before the tomb was resealed in Mandalay. A video provided to the news agency Reuters by a resident shows cement that was still drying up. The video shows one brick to be stained with blood. The video also shows discarded rubber gloves and surgical gowns. Myanmar's state media has questioned the reports of the protester who was killed by security forces. The state media said that the cause of Kjalsin's death is being investigated and a witness who lives near the cemetery said that he saw the grave being opened using power tools on Friday. Now the witness said that a team of at least 30 people that arrived with four cars and two police trucks as well as two trucks of soldiers for security according to the witness the authorities pulled out the coffin and removed the body and placed it on a bench. The anonymous witness also said that the authorities placed a brick under the slain protester's head. The 19-year-old protester became an icon of the protests after she was shot dead, wearing a t-shirt that read, everything will be okay. Kjalsin was among at least 38 people killed on Wednesday, the bloodiest day so far. Protesters were killed in attempts by security forces to stop demonstrations against the February 1st coup that has prompted daily protests for over a month. And so as the political crisis escalates and pro-democracy activists hold fresh demonstrations, the United Nations Security Council has now held a closed-door meeting to discuss the ongoing situation in Myanmar. The special envoy of Secretary-General of Myanmar, Christine Schreiner Bergener, has pressed on the desperate pleas of thousands of residents of Myanmar and their hope on the actions by international bodies, including the United Nations. Bergenay has urged the UN Security Council to take action to stop the violence and restore democracy in the Southeast Asian nation following the February 1st military coup. The United Nations envoy has noted that since her briefing to the General Assembly a week ago, the military brutally unleashed its worst crackdown yet since February 1st coup, killing a total of around 50 innocent and peaceful protesters and while seriously injuring scores others. In conclusion of the meeting, the special envoy reminded on the collective obligation to defend the defenseless inside the war-torn country. Meanwhile, Barbara Woodward, permanent representative of the United Kingdom to the United Nations, has said that the UK thinks it is important that the Council is able to speak up with one voice to call for an end to violence, the release of those arbitrarily detained and a return to democracy. We reiterate our calls on the Tatmadaw to respect the rule of law, to release all of those arbitrarily detained, lift the state of emergency and all restrictions on rights and freedom with immediate effect. The United Kingdom supports the role of regional organizations, in particular ASEAN, in resolving the crisis. We'll continue to monitor closely the situation in Myanmar and consider further action through the Security Council in the coming days. And so Myanmar has urged India to return the police officers 
who had crossed the border to evade taking orders from the Myanmar military junta. Around 30 police officers and their families have fled Myanmar and sought refuge in India in the last one month. As the military's brutal crackdown on dissent continues in the South Asian nation, a senior official from India's Mizoram state has said that she has received a letter from her counterpart in Myanmar requesting the return of those officers. The letter reads, and I quote, in order to uphold friendly relations between the two neighboring countries, you are kindly requested to detain eight Myanmar police personnel who had arrived to Indian territories and hand over to Myanmar. Note that on Thursday, the Indian police reported that three policemen have crossed the border. But the Myanmar authorities' letter mentions eight officers. The Indian state police officials say that they are awaiting further instructions from the Home Ministry to act on the situation. The Indian Home Ministry has not responded to this request as yet, but on Friday, the Indian External Affairs Ministry said that they were still ascertaining the facts. Myanmar ke ghatna karam pe hum bariki se nazar banaye huye hain, aur jaisa ki maine pehle bataya tha ki hum apne sahiyogiyon se partner countries se is baare mein chacha karte rahein, aur इन इन बातचीत में हमने कहा है कि इस मुद्दे को शांतिपूर्ण तरीके से मतभेदों को सुलझाना चाहिए और ये हमारा पक्ष रहा है कि इस 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 ये वहाँ जो भी स्थिति है वहाँ पे इसको शांतिपूर्ण तरीके से वहाँ जो मतभेद हैं उनको सुलझाना चाहिए Myanmar's military overthrew the country's nascent democratic government on the 1st of February. They arrested the elected leader Aung San Suu Kyi and her cabinet. And in the last one month, the junta took violent measures to quash dissent that continues uprising in the streets of Myanmar. Since the beginning, India has condemned the military actions and has urged the junta to reinstate the elected administration. Vyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.